Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to use Animate CC so that you guys can make your own animations or drawings and stuff. So the first thing you're going to want to learn is the tools which are like in the tool panels right here. So first there's the pencil tool. Um, you can draw and make lines to um, change the size of the pencil you can go right here on this bar and you can either slide it to make it bigger or you can type in the size the exact size that you want and it'll set it up so um another thing you're gonna want to use is the brush tool um, and then it's the same thing as the pencil tool basically to change the size you go down here and you can change it you can write the exact size also um, so then the next tool you're going to want to know is the eraser tool which is right here there's different sizes so if you go right here on this little um, like button thing if you click on it you can choose the size that you want and the shape that you want alright so the next tool the next tool that you you should know is the line tool. Um, you just cl click and hold, and then you can drag, let go whenever you're done. Um, it's pretty simple. It it's just like the pencil. You can change the stroke size. Um, the next thing you should know is the circle tool. So um, you just hold it, and it makes a circle. You can make ovals and stuff. But if you want to make a perfect circle, hold shift while you drag and it will make a perfect circle. So um, now to do for the fill tool. So if you wanted to use the brush tool, you made a circle and you wanted to fill it um, with red. You can just click on the fill tool right here or the paint bucket, I mean, and then you just um, put it in. Okay, so for, I'm going to show you guys the, how to select your colors for all the tools. So you have two um, uh, spots to se select your color. You have the fill color and the stroke color. So the stroke color is um, the color for the pencil. The outline of the circle, I'll make the stroke bigger like that the outline of the circle, the pencil, outline of a rectangle tool, and even that the the pentagon pentagon. Um, and then the fill color is um the color inside the shapes and also the brush tool. So if you selected a whole item and you only changed the fill tool, it doesn't affect affect the black because that's a stroke color so, but it will but if you click this um if you choose a stroke color it does affect the stroke only so it you can use it to do pretty cool stuff with it um, another tool that's really good is the selection tool that I've been using there's a whole bunch of different ones you can use there's um there's this one which is the lasso tool and you can make your own shapes and you can then use this and move it around or you can use this one which is free transfa transformation tool and you just select and then drag to rotate it you just go right here and you rotate it if you want to like make it change it you can go like that and if you want this little dot um, allows you to change the rotation point of the object like that so that's basically all you need to know for the tools um, to zoom in you can just click um, right here and then it zooms in for you okay so now I'm going to show you guys what you need um, to animate and all the stuff that you need to learn to animate so I'll start really easy well, you, this is your stage right here um, and then you're gonna need layers to animate so 
if you don't know what a layer is it's basically um, you can draw you can draw stuff on a la on one layer and then click this little um this little dot at the lock so th so then you can draw on this layer I'll use a different color you can draw on this layer and if you want to edit it it won't affect the layer under it so it's a it's a way to use like um to draw a whole bunch of stuff like if you wanted a layer for the background and you wanted to edit the background only you could so to delete them you click this button and then to add them you click this new layer to um, change the name double click and you can write enter and this one is a folder so you can make it organized and you can close it and open it so um, yeah alright so now to show you guys animation what you can do is let's say you wanted to do a um, Okay, let's say you want to do a red ball bouncing on the floor. So what you can do is select with the stroke color a black and make it like a floor and then you can like that, make a new layer and then you can write ball. Um, and then another thing before I start is that if you drew something, see how it's in front of the, the black if you wanted to put it behind, you just put the layer under the other layer and it will go under it. So um, that's another useful thing. So now you could, what you want to do is for the first frame, draw your ball where the ball would be. So I'm going to draw it off the front, like out of the scene. And then, all right, so once you have your floor, what you're going to want to do is like select. Um, your frames to a certain amount length whatever you want you can always add more uh, frames and then you click F5 and that's gonna add a whole bunch of uh, blank frames so if you play the animation by clicking this button right here it'll play all the way till the end but um so this you can't if you draw something and then you go to the next frame and you go to draw something there it's on the same frame because you didn't convert it to a to a keyframe, so to convert it, you click F you click F seven. Whoops, sorry. So to convert it to convert it, you click F seven, and it deletes the object that you drew in the last frame. See, and then you can draw again, but you don't know where your ball was last time. So how are you supposed to make a nice animation that's fluid? You can click this button right here, which is onion skin, and then it can sh it, it'll show you a like a transparent um, image of your drawing that you did in the previous frame. So then you can draw another one. And then you can make another one F7 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 and you get the idea like that and we can make the ball like that so now that you have the whole drawing you're, you have a, now you have your animation you can play it and you have your animation. So now another cool things you can do, or uh, another useful uh, way you can make keyframes is F6, and it leaves the the um, image on, so you can just edit it. So like a way you could use this is if you want to make the ball slowly disappear, you can make click F6, and then slowly um like that oh see how the floor edit uh, changed and erased that's because I didn't lock it so now if you do that like this and then F6 
and then F6, six. There. So now it disappears. So that's a way you could use those keyframes. And now, if you made too many uh, keyframes and you wanted the animation to finish right he uh, right here, you just select all the frames right here. You double click or right click, and then you click remove frames and it will remove them. Now, if you want to view them properly, you can go uh, control play. And then if you want if you want to view them probably you go can you can go in controls panel and then test and it'll do a loop hey guys thanks for watching my tutorial if you guys want to watch my latest tutorial you can click on the video on the right and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe Eyes in the sky. Gazing far into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true, baby let the light shine through, if you believe it's true, baby won't you let the light